welcome. It's Julie here from Vintage Collectibles from a sort of murky Sussex morning. I wanted to go through January's haul with you and let you know where I purchased the items and how much I paid for them. So we will today be going through everything you see here on the table. So I will start over here. These four little gorgeous espresso cups. This one here has a, gosh, I'm gonna say tick, tick, tuck, 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 isn't it? <laughs> no, rickshaw. It's a rickshaw. They're very sweet and they're marked on the bottom. Japan. I've got these in a May house in um, Portslade in Hove and I paid a pound each item. They're not a matching set, so I've listed these two together and then I've listed this one and this one separately. So yeah, four pounds for the set. Also from Emmaus, these beautiful glazed coffee cups here. There's no markings on the bottom, but they are, look at the glaze on them. They're really lovely. There's no chips on them either. So I paid a pound each for those. And I've already listed these on my eBay shop for I think around 19 or 20 pounds and they already have watches already on them. We have this beautiful, big, cool, there you go, lily vase here. It's rather lovely. And if you check down the bottom here, you can see the mark it's been hand blown but unfortunately there's no maker's mark on it um, it may be Murano it may be not um, I paid quite a bit for that I think it was about 35 and I got this item with this gorgeous little duck here duck or a goose um, I got these at North Lane Bazaar in Brighton I think I paid about 16 for the duck and about 35 for the gorgeous vase. But, you know, by the time you've paid for parking in Brighton, it's not really the best, the best pickings. <laughs> um, next one here is, it's a chicken. I don't think this is oven proof. I think it's like a carving dish. It's marked to the reverse here. I don't even want to try and say that. Schurich, <laughs> made in Germany. It does have a tiny chip here, which is unfortunate, but is on the underside. And I guess you put your chicken in and it collects all the juices. I thought that was rather cool. I paid four pounds for that and I've listed that, I think at about 15 on my eBay shop. And then next along here, these are gorgeous. They're little um, geisha, geisha cups. So they're matching sets, there's two sets. So there's two plates. It's a very sweet design, Mount Fuji. Two sauces, and they're marked. Kutani. And then this is really cool because inside of the cups here, if you hold them up to the light, look how cool that is. So you're a geisha girl. There we go. Um, I have already listed these. What did I pay? I think I paid £7.50 for both at a charity shop. And I've listed them memory um probably late 20s they're listed for on my ebay shop they, yeah and they were from a charity shop i can't remember if i said again uh oh this one here was from north lane bazaar it's rather lovely it's got um little colored pieces of glass inside and it's signed on the bottom medina um 
which is a company hand-blown glass that were based in Malta and there's no chips or cracks on that it's really quite heavy and I paid five pound for that one and the next one here is this gorgeous copper enamel dish look at this Trying to show how the translucency is coming up very well. I paid five pound for this in a charity shop in Sussex. Um, I love it so much. I'm not going to part with it yet, so I'm going to keep this for my collection. But I paid five pounds. But these copper enamel dishes are actually very cheap if you look on eBay. But the amount of work that's gone into that. It's all handmade. It's beautiful. Let's put that back. Sorry about the traffic outside. Next one here, we've got another Medina vase here, hand blown and signed on the bottom there. It's quite hard to show you, but it does say Medina. And that was from a charity shop in Sussex. And I paid four pounds. It's got some very, very slight markings on the top, but otherwise it's brilliant. Another charity shop find. It's lovely. Would you call it a decanter? Um, uh, I think it's Bohemian Czech, but please correct me if I'm wrong. There's no markings on the bottom, although you can see, obviously, it was hand-blown. And all this hand-painted enamel. So, yeah, that one there was £5 with its stopper. I haven't listed that one yet. This, uh, another one from a charity shop. There, lovely little Bushmills whiskey with the stopper. I just thought it was so sweet. It's got um, engraved trying to pick it up in the light. It's an engraved uh, barley, barley leaves on the sides. And that was four pounds. Um, I'm yet to list that one. Next we have, oh, this is a beauty. Let's make some room for this one. There we go. Now this gorgeous box here, I got from Ford Airfield. Um, car boot market which is on a Thursday and Saturday and they do um, uh, vi mostly vintage and collectible items so if we open up here I'm guessing this is kind of Edwardian or Victorian open up, look at this it's so lovely look how sweet is that I think this was an old barber's box so he would have had all of his maybe shaving increments in there. Um, there's a lovely little drawer underneath. Really lovely, sweet item. But I'm going to um, polish the brass up before I list this. And I paid £15 for this at Ford Market. Okay. Another one from Ford are these two. We've got a matching planter and a bowl with a very 1980s Art Nouveau pattern. And then on the bottom here, if you have a look, ta-da! Liberty London, 1987. They're both rather lovely and I paid £25 for both. That was also from Ford. Let's move along. These, I've got eight books here and I didn't buy them actually to resell, but I will look them up. I actually bought them as photo props. So, um, and also very interesting, I marked this page. On my way home, if you get to the end of the video, you'll see I actually passed this spot on my way home because this was the scene they used in A View to a Kill, the James Bond movie. Um, but there's some, I mean, look at the Art Nouveau decoration on here. It's just adorable. 
And there's this one as well, which is very, very sweet. Um, the Claverings. The Three Musketeers. Very cute. So yeah, hopefully at the end of the video I can show you how I've used them as photo props. And this next one is one of my favourites. Oh, oh, my word. <laughs> it's the blackboard gone on the floor. I'm not going to pause the video, though. I'm carrying on. Uh, here we go. This is my favourite item for January. It's a pewter box, which, as you can see, has got some um, creasing here. And inside... It's wooden like this, but the beautiful part of this box is obviously this. Let me see if I can zoom in better. This beautiful enameling here. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I paid £2.50 for this box. I've listed it for 70 and if it doesn't sell, I am going to take this beautiful panel out and see if I can repurpose it in um, a, a fine silver pendant, possibly, because this box here is probably around 100 years old. It's just stunning. Um, yeah, so I think that was my favourite find. Um, I did say, didn't I, that was from Ford Market. Next we have along here, also from Ford. It's a cobalt blue bowl with a little boy and a, a bird which is hand enameled. There's no markings on the bottom. Just oh, there is. Sorry, it says thirteen. I don't think it's Mary Gregory. I think it's Mary Gregory style. And I paid. I think four pounds for that bowl. Um, also at Ford Market. And another item at Ford. It's this sweet little box here. Let's open it up. Give me that twee. Inside you've got all these um, little adorable weights. I guess they were for Maybe jewellery or for a chemist and some brass tweezers. Really cute. There we go. They've all got their weights on them. I paid five pounds for this. I really like that. Um, the last item I got in January at Ford was this amazing. Um, it says Cadbury's chocolates on it, but if you go in the back here, it actually says Eureka Scientific. I mean, you can see it is an old box, but I think it used to have maybe scales inside and they've put some nice gold stickers on. Um, it's still a beautiful item, but I'm going to, I think, keep this and maybe put a shelf here and then when the summer comes, I can use it as a display cabinet. Um, I really love it. It's It was £45. If I go around, I just want to show you that um, this lifts up, you see, at the back. Lifts up. You can get inside the box like that. Um, that's not marble in the bottom, unfortunately. It's um, like a vinyl cover. So I really love that. And the last few items here I've got from auction. So I do find lately you're paying over the top at auction. It might be because of um, COVID that more people are bidding on the same item. But this is really cool. It's a retro ice bucket from the sort of 60s, 70s. And it's by a company called um, Daydream. There you go. Um, I think by the time I paid all the fees for that, it was probably around £60. 
um, that I paid for that. I've listed that on eBay probably for about a hundred. And then down here, beautiful sterling silver purse here. It's fully hallmarked there. Also got this at auction. It's really hard to open because I'm one-handed. Okay, <laughs> with a leather inside. It's just adorable. Showing the other side. There's hallmarks on both sides. I think by the time I paid fees, I probably paid, I think, around 70, 75 for that, but I will check. Um, next sterling silver egg cup which I haven't listed because I need to polish it Singapore and Kuala Lumpur it looks like it's been imported because it's got the anchor I think anchor of Birmingham and I've yet to look up the date letter but I, I will do that and a gorgeous little sterling silver charm I can open it and one handed it has actually got there we go inside look a little bible Let's see if I can open it come on no I'll leave that for the bit anyway there is a bible inside another one of my absolute favourites is this item here it's just adorable um also have to um, polish this up. Now this was, I found this in auction and the auction did not list the maker. And this is a very, very desirable maker. Excuse my hands, I, I also make jewelry, so they, um, they're very cracked at the moment. And here is the little dragonfly on the back, which is the sign for Mayo Mayo, which is a very sought after brand. And I don't know if any of you can help me here, but these are, the wings move like this. And I'm thinking maybe it's a hair clip. You see, like this. Um, maybe you, one of you can help me with that. I think I paid about 140, 140 for this, but it's such a beautiful item. I mean, this is Plicajur enamel. It's very, very hard to do, but she's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I haven't listed her yet, but over the coming days and weeks, I have started listing these items. So some of them you will find on my eBay shop. And over the next few days, you will start to see these items popping up. Here is my um, eBay shop. So it's Vintage Collectibles dash, that does say VC, Vintage Collectibles dash VC. That's obviously where I dropped it earlier. <laughs> and then my email email address is vc.vintagecollectibles at yahoo.com. Um, thanks for staying with me. Any questions or comments, please leave them down the bottom. It'd be interesting to chat to you all. Thanks very much.